Chiefs Kingdom, it's week one. Week one of the NFL season is here. I'm your host, Harrison Graham on Chat Sports. We're going to predict, look at the matchup with the Jags later in the show. You're going to have a chance to win some money if you guess the exact score, but you got to stick with us. you got to subscribe to the channel. Uh, but we're going to get to the other rumors and news items first, starting with LaShawn McCoy. Of course, he was signed just a couple of days ago, officially signed on Monday. He's going to play in week one, guys. I don't know what his role will be at the beginning here. He's listed as the second string running back on the depth chart the question is what's his role going to be moving forward because again you know you look at this depth chart and I, I think it's going to be a running back by committee Damian Williams is your starter LaShawn McCoy and is your second back Darwin Thompson he's going to do some third down duties the rookie out of Utah State you've got Daryl Williams on the roster as well. Again, LaShawn McCoy set to play in week one against the Jags, according to Andy Reid. Here's a quote from Reid at yesterday's uh, press conference uh, welcoming McCoy to the team. Uh, this was on the decision to bring in Shady. Quote, we looked at the tape. I've known him for a long time. He still has the great feet, the vision. We're lucky to have Damian here, who we consider a starter. I think it's a great situation for them to be in. Here was Shady uh, after uh, Andy Reid spoke first. Uh, on asking what he thinks his role will be with uh, Kansas City. That's for Coach Reed to handle. I'm open to working hard and competing, but the ultimate goal is to win. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I've had good numbers, but I want to win with a winning team. Whatever it takes, that's what we'll do when he says we, talking about the running back group. I think it's going to be a running back by committee. Look for LaShawn McCoy to be more involved in the passing game. I think Damian Williams definitely just lost 20 receptions or so on the upcoming season. I think McCoy will be heavily involved in the screen game. But I want to ask you guys, which running back will have the biggest impact this season? Type L for LaShawn McCoy, type D for Damian Williams. If you're feeling like Darwin Thompson will, feel free to type that in the comments below. I think it'll be one of these two guys, though. I'm going to lean LaShawn McCoy. I think it'll take a couple of weeks for him to be the, the guy who's getting the most touches. I think Damian Williams will be your week one starter. But I think when it's all said and done, that familiarity between McCoy and Reed's system, I think LaShawn McCoy will be the lead back in Kansas City. But it will mostly be a running back by committee. All right, guys, I'm staying away from Chiefs running backs in week one on FanDuel because I just don't know how it's going to play out. Go get Patrick Mahomes, though. Look, if you drafted Andrew Luck in your regular fantasy league, that's what FanDuel is for. Best daily fantasy site out there. Week one is getting going this weekend. FanDuel's the place to go. Hey, they're going to match your deposit up to $20. Put down $10, they're going to match it for $10. $20, they're going to match it for $20. FanDuel.com slash chat sports. I've been doing this for years. I love what the guys are doing over at FanDuel. It's a great time in addition to regular fantasy leagues. FanDuel, you can play any week you want. You don't have to commit for the whole season. You can do new teams every single week. It's FanDuel, FanDuel.com slash chat sports. Is it going to be a historic year for Mahomes in the offense? I think there's a pretty good chance. Look, Peter Schrager uh, said that he thinks the Chiefs will score 65 points in a game this year, the first time in the Super Bowl era. Look, I don't know if I'm ready to go that far. They scored, what, 52 in that game against the Rams last year? But they're certainly capable of putting up big numbers. Scored 565 points last season, third most all-time in NFL history. Uh, Schrager also said he thinks Mahomes might have the best season ever for a quarterback. So I looked back at Peyton Manning's historic 2013 season because those yards, 54-77, that's the most in a single season. 55 touchdowns, that's also the most. So I was like, uh, how much further does Mahomes have to go? He's not far off. And guess what? He, did, he was only 400 yards behind and five touchdowns behind on 80 less attempts, guys. He can pass Peyton Manning's 2013 season. We could be looking at the best single season ever upcoming for Patrick Mahomes, especially considering they're doing a running back committee, and especially considering they basically lost none of their key guys. It was touch and go for Tyreek Hill for a while, but he didn't get suspended. He's full go. Travis Kelsey, best tight end in the NFL. We keep hearing about how great of an offseason Sammy Watkins has had. If he can stay healthy, that's going to be a boost. Demarcus Robinson is back in a year older. Damian Williams is back as well. Then you add in these three guys also who are going to contribute. LaShawn McCoy, we already talked about him a lot. I expect him to have a big role on this team. McCole Hardman, the rookie speedster out of Georgia, he had a nice preseason. Same deal with Darwin Thompson, he had a nice preseason. 
the skill position group in Kansas City is loaded, there's no reason for Patrick Mahomes to not have another monster season in 2019. And the offense as a whole, I looked back at the top five all-time scoring offenses. Again, the Chiefs were third last year at 35.3 points per game, 565 points in total. Those 13 Broncos with Peyton Manning most all-time at almost 38 points per game. 07 Patriots, I consider, obviously, the best team to never win a Super Bowl. Maybe the best team of all time, even though they didn't win that Super Bowl. Then you had Aaron Rodgers in 2011 with the Packers. And then the 2012 Patriots as well coming in at just under 35 points per game i think the chiefs can top the 2013 broncos get to that 38 points per game mark this is an interesting one for you guys what's more likely to happen this season patrick mahomes wins another mvp will the chiefs win the super bowl i think the more likely one is mahomes wins mvp but if he wins MVP, that probably means they are in the mix to win the Super Bowl. So it kind of goes hand in hand there. But I think there is a very good chance that Patrick Mahomes is going to repeat as MVP champion. And I think there's a chance the Chiefs will win the Super Bowl as well. All right, guys. We're closing in on 150,000 subscribers. I think we crossed the 135K mark today here on Chat Sports, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. You like the Chiefs? You like the NFL? We're doing videos all season long. We did it throughout the offseason. We've been counting down the days till week one. We're here, guys. Thursday night football is two games away. Chiefs play this Sunday in Jacksonville. You got to subscribe, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. And by the way, if you subscribe, you have a chance to win some money. Stay tuned for later in the video for an opportunity to do that. More rumors here. Tremont Smith looks like he's back to cornerback. The experiment at running back did not play out the way they had hoped. Look, I'm a bit surprised he even made the roster in Kansas City. I think the only reason is because DeAnthony Thomas is suspended for week one for that PE or substance abuse uh, policy violation for that one there. He is eligible to come back in week two. Change his number back to 39. So forget the last couple weeks. He's back at cornerback. But let's be honest. Tremont Smith is a special teams player. He's a returner. He's a gunner on punt and kickoff. That is what he does. Sure, he's your emergency fifth corner there. Mo, Mo Claiborne can come back in week five as he is currently suspended. So Chiefs a little light at corner right now. I guess it makes Smith's makes sense to move back Tremont Smith to cornerback. Here was Brett Veach talking about Tremont Smith saying, quote, D'Anthony suspended the first game and really D'Anthony and Tremont have been the highest graded at our gunner position. Given his versatility and the fact he does so much for us on special teams, it made more sense to keep him on the roster and play with the guys that will help us in Jacksonville. Guys, to me, that sounds like he's getting cut after week one. Uh, they brought back DeAnthony Thomas for a reason. They gave Smith a chance to evolve and uh, become an offensive player. That did not work out. Type Y for yes, type in for no if you think Smith gets cut after week one. Of course, when DeAnthony Thomas can come back, I think it's a yes. I do think he'll go to the practice squad and they can do some more experimenting with him positional-wise, but he doesn't bring you more to the table than special teams work, and the Chiefs just have plenty of guys who can do that. DeAnthony Thomas will take on that role. I think he is cut after next week's game. Chase Litton to the Jags practice squad. Guys, the Chiefs chose Kyle Shermer over Litton as their practice squad quarterback. This is simple, right? Chiefs play Jags week one. Chiefs signed Chase Litton to the practice squad. You see this all over the NFL. This is nothing more than Jacksonville saying, hey, let's bring this guy in here, see if he can give us any insight on the Chiefs. Bottom line, it's not going to affect uh, the outcome very much, if at all. Here was Litton's tweet uh, saying, you know, beyond thankful and blessed for this opportunity, hashtag Duval. That's uh, the Jags' uh, little saying there, whatever they've got going on in Jacksonville. Chase Litton to the Jaguars is not going to impact what happens in week one's game. You see this across the NFL. Several of the teams have snatched players for week one just to get some game plan information. Not too surprising there. Would not be shocked if they waved him off their practice squad after this game. All right, guys, if you drafted Andrew Luck in FanDuel, it's or not in FanDuel, it's okay, because FanDuel is there for you guys. FanDuel is the place, daily fantasy sports, guys. The worst thing in fantasy in regular leagues, don't do that ESPN stuff because you have a key injury early in the season. You're like, oh, well, my season's over. FanDuel resets every week. You can redraft every week. FanDuel.com slash chat sports. They're our daily fantasy sponsor. They're going to match your deposit up to $20. You can play $1 leagues, $10 leagues. 
$500 leagues, all kinds of offers on FanDuel. That's the place to go. I picked Patrick Mahomes for week one because I think he's going to torch the Jacksonville Jaguars. Go sign up today, FanDuel.com slash chat sports. Put down that deposit. They will match it up to $20. All right, guys, week one, Chiefs, Jags. I got a quick little game plan for you. Number one, stop the run. Okay, Leonard Fournette didn't play in this game last year when these two teams met up. He is healthy. He's ready to go. Contain him. Make Nick Foles beat you. Keep Leonard Fournette under 100 yards. I think you'll be in good shape. Number two, feed Tyreek Hill early. Fairly quiet in this game last year. I think he had like 60 yards. Patrick Mahomes, zero touchdowns and two picks in this game last year. He's certainly going to be licking his chops week one. Didn't see a lot from Tyreek in the preseason. Obviously, it was a tumultuous offseason between the Chiefs and Tyreek Hill. Get him involved early. Get him and Mahomes in a rhythm. Open up some space on the field. You can establish the run game after that. I think that is the number one plan on offense. And then overall, obviously, win the turnover battle. Get after Nick Foles. Frank Clark, Chris Jones, hit Nick Foles early and often. That goes back to game or uh, step number one. Stop the run. You get Nick Foles and the Jags into third and long, you're going to be in good shape. So stop the run, feed Tyreek early, win in the turnover battle. The Chiefs should be 1-0. and oh. These are my five players to watch against Jacksonville in week one. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes. I'm excited to watch this guy every week. Uh, but you got some new uh, weapons in there uh, in the fold. So I'm excited to see how that plays out with him and the other guys. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, the new running back. How much is he going to play in this game? Intrigued to see what his role is in week one. Sammy Watkins, again, we've heard it throughout the offseason. Great camp, great OTAs, all that stuff. Can he do it on Sunday? That's what I'm looking for from him. Two guys on the defensive side, two new guys, Tyron Matthew at strong safety, Frank Clark coming off the edge. Interested to see how these two new guys fit into Steve Spagnuolo's defense. So those are the five guys I'm watching for against the Jags this weekend. All right, guys, I mentioned it earlier. We're doing a contest for you guys. Predict the score, Chiefs at Jaguars. If you subscribe, predict the score before the game kicks off. That's the key here. Don't do that after the game crap. We're, we're checking the timestamps on the comments. Week one, Chiefs at Jags. The first one to get it right, we're going to Venmo you guys $25. Great deal, right? So do it as soon as you see this. Predict the score. you got to subscribe. We can check all of that stuff. We will Venmo you $25 if you are correct to the first person. So do that. My prediction, Chiefs win 34-17. Look, I think Mahomes and the, these guys are gonna, come, gonna be coming out firing early. Uh, they wanna start uh, this season right. I think Nick Foles, uh, they force him into a couple of turnovers. Limit Le Leonard Fournette. I think this defense will be much better this year. I got Chiefs 34-17. Let me know what your prediction is in the comment below. Again, if you're that first person and you've subscribed, we'll Venmo you $25. Go Chiefs in week one, and we'll see you next time.